This is part 2 from the video about crossover distortion. I found that when I connected here two uh, normal diodes, silicon diodes, the, the quiescent current got far too hot, uh, far too, too much, and the transistors got very, very hot. So I had to make here um, a very um, well adjustable uh, diode that works in the zero. 0.1 range and then I mean 0.1 voltage to get a very specific voltage here so that no uh, crossover distortion is present but on the other hand um, there's a two the, the, the quiescent current must be low so I use this circuit and it's a kind of adjustable zener between the two base connections from the end transistors, the NPN and the PMP, and here you see how it was made in real. The BD139, the small uh, trimmer, and with that trimmer I found out that um, the voltage between the two end transistors, where it all works well, is very critical. So a combination from a good uh, low quiescent current and um, distortionless amplification. That's realized here. And you need of course an oscilloscope to align it all. I've, I've experimented here with uh, germanium transistors etc etc. But this is more or less a classical way to solve this problem and when you study uh, literature on class B amplifiers you will often see this solution. Adjustable zener to set the amplifier to a very proper working point and a low quiescent current.